to the Excel tutorial in macroeconomics in this semester. I'm Daniel. I work for the chair of Professor Kaiber, and I have the pleasure to do an Excel tutorial with you in macroeconomics, a course taught by Professor Stadtmann. Um, should you have any questions about the content of the course, about any of the problems that we're going to tackle and that I'm going to show you in the next four or five videos, including this one, um, please just write me an email to hofmann at um, europa-uni.de. In this first video, I will give you a course overview um, consisting of the agenda of the course, a small explanation why you should use Excel and how to set up Excel for free and legally, of course. So as I said, the course is structured into five videos. The first is this course overview. Um, the second is then going to be first steps and easy calculations where I'm going to show you how to navigate in Excel, where all the functions are placed and how to write small functions into the cells. So basic calculations like plus minus um, and so forth. The third video then is a representation of a net present value calculation and an introduction to functions. So I'll show you how to use functions followed by the fourth video, where we will plot um, line diagrams and XY diagrams. And then the last video, I will show you some advanced functions and some practical examples to show you how to use what you've learned in the course then. Why should you use Excel? First, it's very easy to use. Once you learned how to use Excel, um, it's kind of a language in academia and business. And there's almost no limits to what you can do with Excel. So it's a very powerful tool. There's even a programming language behind Excel, which is called Visual Basic for Applications. And in a nutshell, Excel allows everything from easy calculations to very complex simulation scenario analysis, um, including, I don't know, derivative pricing, um, simulations of stock prices and so forth. So anything that you can imagine. Besides Excel is used basically everywhere. So in academia, you can use it to do an analysis, evaluation, representation of data. In corporates, it is used all the time. So you use it for business planning. Um, imagine you found a small startup and you want to do a business plan. So plan what is the what will the cash flow be and show it to some investor, for example. Um, it is used in controlling departments um, to keep track of purchase and sales items. Um, you can do customer overviews, management reports. And the beauty in that is that if you have a management report, for example, and you have a specific figure that you want to show to your supervisor, you just change the input data and the key figure will calculate automatically. So you don't have much to worry about that. As a last point in this video, I'd like to show you how to set up Excel. Using your university email address, you have free access to the Microsoft Office Suite. Um, just follow that link or alternatively Google Microsoft Office Student. I'm not sure, however, if you have to use the German website, you can also change it to English, but it might be that it then also expects a email address from a UK university, for example. Once you click that link, you get to this website. You can start typing in your university email address that starts with EUV. Uh, you might also try in the very bottom of the page, there is a language selector and try it in English if you don't get German. Um, um, alternatively, ask a fellow student um, to help you. That's it for the first video. I'm looking forward to start using Excel in the upcoming video.